What's up guys, welcome back to another Tesla video. We're getting some big news with Tesla, especially a bunch of leaks recently that have been coming in. Now in the previous videos, I do talk a lot about the exterior design and also the exterior leaks. For example, the Tesla Model S refresh being spotted on the highway, being delivered, etc. Very exciting stuff and also leaks of the Tesla Cybertruck machine. That's also pretty big. You got like this massive Giga Press that presses the exterior shell of the car. It's pretty incredible. Instead of adding in like 70, 80 different pieces for a specific area of the car, you just use one singular piece. It's honestly pretty smart. It's fast. It's pretty efficient. Way less employees than normal. But all that stuff is pretty awesome, but we gotta talk about the software stuff. I think people aren't really thinking about the software because there's some pretty incredible stuff recently. Software hasn't really been talked about because it hasn't really been leaked. And only recently has the Tesla V11 software been leaked. And I gotta admit, looking at some of the sample pictures, it looks amazing. And let's just dive right in here. So Tesla usually gives out very amazing and very simple updates. It's usually updates that really do make a difference. For example, the last one was the Tesla V10 update released in September of 2019. It bought a bunch of different UI changes, made things a lot easier. You got Tesla theater, you got karaoke, and also many small improvements, bug fixes, etc., all free of charge. And it's been several months and everyone is getting kind of sick and gloomy. So the automaker is due for a brand new version, the Tesla V11. People are super excited and everyone wants to see the first glimpse of what's inside the brand new refreshed Tesla Model S. And obviously this software will eventually shipped out to other vehicles and other consumers. Keep in mind that the Tesla Model S refresh has a horizontal display. It's not vertical like the other vehicles. This software for the horizontal displays will be slightly different compared to the regular displays of the older Teslas. And someone just somehow got inside a Tesla Model S refresh 2021 test vehicle, took a bunch of pictures, and now the photos are circulating around Reddit. Now the pictures are still floating around. You can actually check out Reddit right now on r slash Tesla Motors. This is posted by u slash Friday the dog 111 a few hours ago. And these pictures look absolutely amazing. I really love the look of the Tesla exterior, but the software itself also looks pretty incredible as well. If you look at the pictures, they show a completely updated user interface. It's designed specifically for a horizontal screen, AKA the Model S screen. The elements will make it to other vehicles, so don't worry if you really like the design, but it's not gonna be like this horizontal format. If you look at some of the pictures, you got like the navigation widget, you got different apps, you could play music, etc. You also see Tesla redesign some of the climate control control buttons and also areas, which is pretty awesome. If you also check out Tesla, some of the quick controls, they're also slightly changed. And in the refresh version, the Model S and the Model X, Tesla also changed some of the size of the instrument cluster. And the overall UI is a lot simpler and I'm pretty sure there'll be way less bugs and the reaction time of the software is a lot faster. And so far, it just looks pretty awesome. This leak essentially gives us a pretty good glimpse at some of the driver settings in the new software. Tesla also added Smart Shift, which is Tesla's new feature that controls the drive modes automatically by detecting different situations. Let's say you parked in front of a brick wall. Obviously you don't wanna shift it to drive, but there's actually no options for you to even shift it. So the AI system will shift it for you. It's a little bit trippy, it's a little bit weird. It's really up to you to decide if this is good. And it's a little bit odd. Some people don't really trust it, but you should be able to manually override it if you don't want it. So Tesla's adding things to the vehicle. Hopefully these are not gonna be full of bugs because that will be really bad. I don't wanna crash my Tesla in front of a brick wall if I'm just trying to back out. But so far the AI and also a lot of the full self-driving autopilot software in the system will detect the surroundings and make the best decision for you. If obviously you can't go front, they'll back out for you. So that's how it's gonna be going for. If you look at the software, the V11, Super great, it's very minimalist. I love the look. It's honestly pretty colorful and very nice looking. And it really does remind us of like some sort of an iPhone type of design. That's how I feel like it. So yeah, I mean, 10 out of 10 for Tesla software. And also shout out to the people who actually checked out these images. I really love the V11 software. It looks pretty amazing. It's super simple. The software gets straight to the point. And obviously with Tesla, no buttons at all 
at the command station, meaning everything is strictly touchscreen. And we should be seeing a lot of people really enjoying this massive display. I love like the bezel of screen. You can see the sides have virtually no bezels. And hopefully the screen is pretty sturdy and pretty durable because I don't really wanna be replacing that thing. And last but not least, let's also talk about Tesla launching its own in-house insurance programs. They will be launching this to more states. It's the Insure My Tesla program. This is big. In 2019, Tesla launched its brand new insurance program. It was like this experimental thing in California and it's been doing really well. The automaker claims up to 30% cheaper premiums than the rest of the competition because who knows their cars the best? The people who make them. So Tesla is offering these insurance programs to Tesla owners that are already super loyal to the brand. So obviously they'll pick up something not only made by the company they love, but also pick up something that will save them a lot of money. I mean, there's already a lot of individuals on Reddit, Twitter, that are talking about the Tesla insurance, and they do say, if you own a Tesla, get the Tesla insurance. It's way cheaper than the competition. Tesla vehicles are considered premium luxury vehicles, so insurance are is pretty high. But if you go for Tesla, insurance is pretty low. And the new insurance program is directly brokered by Tesla through state and national insurance. And the automaker is way more involved in the process than you think, pretty much becoming an insurer itself. And they want to be working with you directly face to face. It's always nice to see Tesla insurance expanding and it's in California right now. We should be expanding it to different areas. And it's been pretty difficult because you have to navigate a ton of regulatory environments it's pretty wacky, there's several different environments. I know insurance may sound pretty boring and it's probably a pretty easy business, but trying to get it to different states is an absolute pain. This is why it's taking them so long. Now, Tesla plans to use a lot of its insurance to supply other individuals with it, and people will save a lot of money with this. And some individuals even says that you should be saving hundreds and hundreds of dollars and CEO Elon Musk is also pretty bullish on the product and estimates that Tesla insurance could reach a valuation that represent 30 to 40% of Tesla's car business. What I'm guessing here is Tesla insurance could be insuring Tesla cars at first. Once it reached virtually all the states, we could be seeing Tesla insurance insuring other luxury cars. That sounds kind of weird, but I feel like the end game is pretty much dominating in this aspect. I feel like once Elon Musk and Tesla set their mind on a specific thing, they will perform really well. I mean, look at all the other products that they've ever made, all the software that they ever launched. It's always done pretty well. Tesla is kind of like the Apple of the car world. When they do something, they perfect it before announcing it. Thanks for watching, guys, and comment below. Subscribe for more Tesla news.